Hello guys, I just came home from a massive trip uh, throughout Europe and I'm going to do a top 10 rides from each park that I went to. The first one being Conyland in Switzerland. This was a pretty surprising park, I expected nothing about this park um, and I had a very good time. Uh, this was a very unique, charming park. Um, it seems like a very very small park that tried to be a little bit of everything. It had some very heavily themed sections, some playground sections like the Danish Summerlands um, and also um, some more um, amusement park feel like uh, a discount version of Tivoli Gardens for example. A very very uh, cozy theme park. I really like this place. Uh, but here's my top 10 rides in this park. Number 10 spot goes to Hoxseilbahn, a self-operated zipline. It's pretty fun. Um, I mean, nothing too special, but uh, pretty fun ride. Number 9 spot goes to Park Eisenbahn. This was the train ride of the park, um, and it's a pretty good park train. It had a dark ride scene where it actually stops and uh, the doors lock, and then there's a pretty uh, decent dark ride in scene in there. So pretty unique, very fun ride. Number 8 spot goes to Space Shot Tower, the SNS um, launch drop tower at this park. This was a pretty solid um, SNS, one of the better ones that I've written for sure. Uh, the initial launch was pretty good and um, at the top it had a pretty sustained pop of uh, pretty strong flow at time I would say. Number 7 spot goes to Weil Wasserbahn, the lock flume of this park. Considering the pretty small size, this is actually a very good lock flume. Uh, it has a dark ride scene, uh, where you actually get a little bit wet there already. Um, and then uh, the drop is uh, is pretty good for such a small drop. It's very steep. Number six goes to Dino Attack, the dark ride of this park. Uh, I could imagine this dark ride is pretty low uh, budget, but it is actually very very fun. It has some very decent effects. Um, it's pretty detailed and it's a fun shooter. It's a uh, it's a very fun ride that uh, you shouldn't miss when you go to this park. At number five we have a ride called Mammoth Tree. This is a very unique cable ride, where it's not about the transportation, it's about the ride experience, because it ends and starts at the same place. Um, when it's outside, it's very fun and bouncy, uh, and then it goes inside the tree, both of the doors closes, and then you'll have a pretty fun uh, scene in there with some special effects. I won't spoil it here, but uh, it's pretty fun, ride it if you're there, definitely. Number 4 spot goes to Crazy Professor. This is a very unique world themed drop tower. It kind of reminds me of a little brother to Mystery Castle at Fantasia Land. Um, this one is screen based, uh, but the screen follows you all the way up, so it's actually a very creative use of screen. There's some other special effects here that I won't spoil in this video. And then I can just tell you the initial drop here is actually just as powerful as it is on Mystery Castle, even though it's uh, only about 20 meters tall, I believe. I absolutely love bumper cars, so it shouldn't be a surprise that the best bumper cars I've ever ridden comes in at number 3 for this pack. They are pretty hard hitting, it's a long cycle and they play rock music. What else could you want for some very good bumper cars? At number 2 spot we have Decopa. Definitely the ride that we came for here, um, and it did not disappoint. On the other hand it actually blew my mind. Uh, I love the, the, vertical, the Beyond Vertical spike here where it just pulls you up and it's so freaky to be just hanging there and then the, the uh, when it drops it is crazy. It is a amazing drop, so punchy. Um, the two floater hills is also very fun actually, it gives some pretty solid floater at time. The loop is uh, the most intense loop I've ever ridden. It is so powerful. Um, and then the scorpion tail is also absolutely amazing, some very good hang time there. A, just a very very powerful ride. Um, and I love the fact that you could um, face your friends on this ride. That was such a blast also. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore Cobra, but there is just one ride this park that is a little bit more special to me. And that ride is one that I hardly knew about before going here. That is Voodoo Island. This is how to do, make a splash battle hysterically fun. You are in round boats uh, facing outwards, which means that you will face many different directions throughout the entire ride. And the ride also have a drop and it goes through a water park. And the kids in the water park, they don't care about getting soaked because they're already in swimsuit. So they would just shovel water on you. And <laughs> yeah, that makes the experience so fun. The water cannons here also works very well. They shoot very far. And you can have some very fun encounters with other boats here. Uh, we also had a very fun uh, encounter with a family here. Um, 
yeah, they uh, started shoveling water on us from the ground, and uh, of course we did it to them as well. So yeah, this ride was a blast. It took me by a huge surprise. I expected, yeah, I, I thought, hey, that looks pretty fun. It blew me away. I loved this thing so much. It was so fun. So this has been my top 10 rides at Coneyland. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys. <laughs>